there's a website called Atozy, A-T-O-Z-Y. I don't know the host name. Have you ever seen this guy before? No, I haven't. No. I thought he did a phenomenal job yeah, of bringing us the prequel of what we saw. You know, if that was the event, this is the prequel because he went through, or he has a staff, because he's got 1.5 million oh, really? subscribers wow. or something, some amazing amount. That's A-T-O-Z-Y. I'm going to check him out because he probably got a lot of the good other stuff. He had someone go through a lot of Elisa's streams so we could follow the trajectory of this relationship, which I thought was interesting as hell. And it starts at 25 seconds when he's describing, um, he's, he's really setting the table for this. Meet Elisa Jordana, who became relevant from being on The Howard Stern Show and dating a guy named Benji, who was also on the show. Recently, she's created quite the internet career for herself in the now popular IRL streaming niche, which we are unfortunately way too familiar with here on this channel. And things have kind of taken a downward spiral for her over the last couple of months from many sites with her top donator. Yes, the guy who's good. donated over a million dollars in less than a year. That's insane. So who's the guy sitting beside her? Well, apparently he's known as Z Scoro or Scoro on the internet. And he's apparently known for donating a that. lot Outfit. of money to various streamers. How beautiful. can you do that? Well, allegedly, he's the son of an Iranian billionaire and has spent <laughs> most of his time online as he's been diagnosed with MS before he became an adult. Shout out to the Kermit and Friendzone channel as it seems like they've documented the entire IRL streaming career of Elisa. So without that information, this video would have been really hard to compile. So here on that channel, he explained how the donations from Scoro started, which apparently was $50 donations at the time, but then suddenly it evolved into $1,000 oh, at a time, then $10,000, wow. then $25,000 thousand oh, dollars in one single donation wow. multiple times so obviously trying to figure out who this guy is and why he's donating so much elisa let him call in a few times apparently one of the gimmicks of elisa's stream is she lets her viewers call her for entertainment purposes so he called in multiple times and just absolutely berated her Wait, and how many things am i over supposed to overlook uh, elise you, you think here I, I can't get another person the more i'm nice to this dumb the more she me public uh, and, and guess what? Like, we these right, the Spartans right, this guy's right. They're all normal, Elisa. You're the crazy. Didn't you tell me right now, Elisa, to call in because you were going to apologize? I'm and sorry. You're just I said I'm the sorry. Camera, like the goddamn right that you are. What's up? Yeah, that, I did it. Uh, and I'm at all. What? I did it. Well, even the entire chat was laughing at me, you uh, huh? He says, I'm the biggest, best asset that you have. Okay, so there wow. you get an idea how this started, how much, I mean, a million dollars? Yeah. Well, wow. Well, I mean, you can see her face um, when it, that $25,000 came in. Yeah. Did you notice her face? And like, her, I mean, her mouth was agape, just like, holy shit, 25 grand from this guy. So, I can't imagine when, when he sent a hell of a super chat to he get. sent a million over, yeah. So naturally, the stream is like, who is this guy? And finally, Lisa introduces us to Mr. Big Stuff. Wants me to show it, so here it is. Um, Look at that dope. What a turd. Look at that idiot. Hello, my Elisa. He thinks he's hot. Hello, my Elisa. He, he does think he's hot, doesn't he? Yeah. He's got a fucking ponytail. His stupid uh, hair's in a ponytail. And what is someone called with Fat Pee Wee Herman? He does look like <laughs> Not in that clip, but the other ones. He looks like a Fat Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> So naturally, everyone is all over, like, oh, my God, Lisa, he's such a loser. What are you doing? He invites her to Los Angeles, and she goes, even after this For guy. For a million bucks. Well, he's already given her the million bucks, though. Well, I mean, she feels she owes some service after the sale. She doesn't. No. She really doesn't. And he I argues would... with her on the stream. when he, well, Every time he I calls in, he's an asshole. Such an asshole. So I have no idea why she goes to L.A., but she does. For the and next then, million <laughs> She live streams the first date, the first time she's really spending time with him. And then, and he, of course, this is not going well because people are calling and giving him shit for being such a dick. <laughs> you, you goddamn primitive So, Did you figure out fire yet? Yeah? Did you figure out how fire works yet? Huh? What? Yeah, yeah. Come here. Come here. Uh, no, Jadis, come here. So, no, no, not come here. Primitive Jadis, come here because the jails here are way better than the jails in Florida. Oh, good line. Clever. Good line, my man. So, Elisa, of course, she wants to stream. She knows everyone is, is watching this, and she wants to take the calls because she knows that it's probably just adding to the stream. People get to pop off and say what she can't say, although she seems like she's really trying to get along with this guy. But here's some more Elisa fans <laughs> calling in. Hello, Queen. 
Alicia's fans are really enjoying her stream and we have missed her. You look very nice on camera, Koro, and the view from your window is awesome. Please keep streaming, Queen. Few bums, okay? Few okay. bums. bums. He and, changed his uh, shirt to rag him for a shirt. <laughs> you shut the fuck up, let me answer them. Okay, and fine. You literally, all of you, uh, add up your cumulative wealth uh, and intelligence, idiots, and think to yourself, I ask this all the time, you ever been top 10 in anything you dumb lives? <laughs> Mine is 10 with 16 zeros, Pleb. So you think you're not impressive? I have news for you, you're not impressive. I'm impressive. Okay. I'm 10 with 16 zeros. Okay. What are you? Not bad. Right. So what? why is he humiliating Elisa? <laughs> well, I mean, he's that's just such, kind of all he does is humiliate her. He's just the most such arrogant a... asshole. He's the son of a billionaire. He's done nothing. But he's such a prick. So anyway, I forgot to mention, he was wearing a black suit with a black tie yeah. and a black shirt. And people immediately started making fun of his shirt and how stupid he looked. Yeah, it did look stupid. And so uh, he changed into a white T-shirt. and that <laughs> Still was just, looks stupid. That's the just, worst part. He does. He just returned in his white T-shirt there. And then um, our next clip, it's when, and this is all from Akozi, by the way, on YouTube. The next clip is Lisa's saying, well, okay, so we don't like the calls. We can just talk ourselves. He's also in a, he's still in that stupid white T-shirt. We can just talk ourselves? That was fine, but then you let I don't, need, I don't need to call. Nobody needs to call. For three dollars, and I gave you more. Uh, thank you. And you're such a dumbass, and anyone who gives you more, you pay less attention to. That uh, I flew here for you, and definitely pay more attention to you than anyone. I think that was like part of the whole thing. What? I paid you a million dollars to come here. Like uh, here you, you said, you here said. What are you gonna do? Be a jerk? Show up you here, gonna do man. that? Yeah. Uh, are you, you gonna do, do this? Okay, you don't want to. You do think this? it's okay for assholes to call me up and annoy me for no reason, so you can get? You think that's fair? I will not take any calls. That's fine. But you did do. I didn't. I, I didn't come I... to take to be faced with what I paid not to exist. Okay. So it, it continues on like I that. I mean, I kind of see his point. Yeah, but why does he have to keep calling well, her a dumbass? Well, he doesn't. And brag I, about how much money he has. He's never it, earned anything. What I was going to say is I see his point. There's like, hey, I paid a million dollars. I want to hang out with you, not somebody that's giving you $3. That being said, she said, fine. Okay, I'm not going to do it anymore. Right. So what? Said, but so you, you don't... did it. Okay, but I'm not doing it now. I hate those arguments. Yeah, no, it's. I think we're all familiar with those arguments. Um, anyway, the next call is really funny because somebody super chats this poopy dance thing. <laughs> this made me laugh because it really bothered him, I think. Oh, really upset him. Yeah. You're the mental capacity of a nine year old. Who cares? Bum donated $3. <laughs> Squirrel looking like Pepe the Frog. Said he looked like Pepe the Frog. This is what I want, right? This is what I came here for this. He shook his head no because he was mad that he's getting made fun of. Here comes the poopy dance. Thoreau, do the poopy dance in your poopy pants. You must always smell like poopies, poopy pants, poop your pants, poop boy poops in his diapers. Thoreau, do the poopy dance in your poopy pants. You must always smell like poopies. I am making rent. <laughs> this is entertainment in 2024. <laughs> I mean, neither one of them are even reacting as it's being played. I just love hearing that generic voice. Yeah, the say the dance poopy thing. dance. Oh, no, it's hilarious. <laughs> and it really bothers him. Okay, so now after this horrible first date, uh, I believe this is the next day when they're live streaming from the car. Mm. And Elisa just has had enough of his insults. And she's basically telling him that she doesn't think he's shit. Oh, good. You'll be nothing uh, asking your dad for 8% of your money, and I'll be like a huge YouTuber with a million subs, and I guarantee that, you, and I'll ignore you in the chat. No, 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 it doesn't matter what it is now, because you've never achieved anything, so you don't know how. I got a record deal. I was on the radio. You've done absolutely nothing in your life besides being born to your dad. That's what. So that's why you don't know. That's why you don't understand how things build. I'm nothing now. I have a very few viewers, but my viewers are women and families and people that matter zero. you have no no you're a zero actually not, you're actually exactly what a zero is exactly you, you have do nothing do to do offer do the world zero do. nothing you, you have nothing you're not creative you're not interesting and you're not smart and you don't have a good personality okay. yeah, she's 100 percent right yeah he's just an asshole and she kicks him out of the car and somebody purchases i gotta tell you though i don't know if i could date elisa <laughs> she's pretty tough um well this is what i understand is who cares how much money this guy has? Not He's exactly. the biggest asshole, and you just told him you can't stand him. Why did she, why did she put up with Who that, gives man? a fuck? So uh, what's funny is as she's kicking him out of the car, somebody purchases the Rocky theme. 
<laughs> Rocky theme is playing as he's getting kicked out of the car. And then the next day, Elisa, uh, a more introspective Elisa, discusses what it is she's looking for. I don't even know what I'm looking for. It just happens. It's just something that happens. I know what I'm looking at. Have you been in a relationship before? What, why? What is it like? Is it like this? Uh, no. Toxic ones, yeah. Which ones like this? Toxic. The bad ones are like this? Is, is this really bad? The ones that usually end up on the news, like the 10 o'clock news. Are you kidding? Is that, like, that, a, is that a joke? Is that <laughs> At least, like, she cannot be this stupid. I don't think she's this stupid. And by the way, what... Why would she put up with shit from this guy and she couldn't stay with Benji? We all know Benji from the Howard Stern Show. Benji, Benji's pretty beloved. He seems like a nice person. He's a lot of fun. How could this guy possibly be better for her than Benji? Money. Or is it, but, I mean, for all her searching for fame and money, where's it gotten her? What good is this guy? Who cares if he has a million? He already gave her a million bucks. When she catches him cheating, which is what happens, yeah. he's giving money to this other girl. That's what I think drove her crazy, the money. Because oh, she doesn't out. like this guy. Oh, who would? I can't imagine why she got so mad she would hit him. She wanted that money that she he was that, giving to her. Yeah. But he's already given her a million dollars. Why couldn't she just blow off the cheating and put up with him a little more and go home and take another million dollars? Why is she so mad at him? She hates him. It doesn't make any sense, does it? But no. we have the, the final clip, which takes us full circle. This is the prequel to before, and we go full circle to the to first cut Carl played, which is Elisa crying her eyes and out he, when she finds and out. He lied, and he told her, like, he told her I'm just like a streamer, and it was just an investment. And like the whole time he was talking to me, he was talking to her the whole time. <laughs> the whole time. And I saw everything that he said to her. It's all the same shit he said to me. And he's just, a, he's just like a bad guy. He's not like the type of guy that's like a faithful guy. And but when he liked me the most, when, when he liked me the most, he was like cheating on me with her. With this like 20, 20, 20 year old, like, like a whole, like a that, How can she be crying about this guy? It's like losing a job. I knew he was that, but I, I, knew, <laughs> like, yeah, I, I guess. I knew, I, I knew he was that. I knew he was that. Okay, <laughs> so there you go. What? I mean, this leaves Jeez, me... Why don't you go cry about it? This leaves me with more questions about Lisa than anything else. How could she possibly cry over losing this guy? She never has to talk to that asshole again and be, be treated like you shit. Think there'd be a sense of relief there, but... I, Drew, it's, it's, it's she already sounds got simple, the, but she already got the million dollars. But there's no, there's more millions coming, right? right? If you already got, look, it starts with five hundred, then you get a thousand, then well, you then, get twenty five thousand, okay. then you get a million. So then, who knows the, how, then if the money matters, life. if the money matters so much, then blow off the other girl and be nice to him, and put up with him. Yeah, but that guy's such an asshole. <laughs> I mean, that's no, I know. Not, I mean, that's I what, a, how can you cry about it uh, though? That's insane. Prisoner, prisoner's dilemma, right? Isn't that what they call it? <laughs> She's got two uh, shitty decisions. So stupid. Anyway, should we try to call Lisa? Yeah. Yeah, she broke her silence already. She did speak to TMZ. Yeah. She's trying to defend herself. She, it's not working out very well. Well, if you look at that clip where just he is yanking on her hair, I mean, it's pretty violent, but that's the but response. she hit she him said, I know multiple I, times. Which is why I think she was charged and he wasn't. She was also warned by the police. I think that had a lot to do with it. They'd already seen her hitting him. Yeah. Now... I wouldn't be surprised if he was charged, too, but I don't think he's been charged. No. Well, plus, he's got plenty of money to not get charged. What's up, you guys? Elisa, it's Drew. Yeah. Drew, in What's Detroit? Up? How are you doing? I know, I know. Okay. Good, good. How are you, how are you guys doing? We're doing fine. We were just watching um, the video that you recommended on your stream where you said this guy's kind of fair. The Atozi. Wait, what video? The one Atozi made, where he does kind of the prequel, oh, yeah. and you thought that was a fair yeah. video, right? I, I love that guy, yeah. Okay. Um, I thought it was pretty, f did you guys think it was fair? I thought it was pretty fair. Yeah, I watched the whole thing, yeah, not just the clips. I yeah. thought he did a good job. He did one of the better jobs that I've seen. Okay, yeah. here's what I just cannot figure out, is... What? 
he treats you like complete shit. He is the most unlikable human being I think I've ever seen in my life. I can't understand why you're upset that he's cheating on you even, because he's such an asshole. Who cares? I got very attached to him because uh, he was... Uh, I talked to him like every night for like six months and I got very attached to him. He was very involved in my stream. He was on every show. What did, what did he provide that was, that was kind or nice though? It seemed like it was money. Hold on, hold on one second. Uh, what did you say? It, it just didn't seem like he was ever nice. It seemed like he was always an asshole. He was arrogant as fuck. He's ugly. He's, there's nothing attractive about him other than the fact that he gave you a lot of money. I couldn't figure out, besides the money, what was of value to, of him. He, he was so arrogant and entitled. So when, he first, when he first came around, um, he wasn't really like that at first. He, was, he gave a lot of ideas. And he was in my Discord server, and he went on voice chat this one night, and he was like, let's do something, you know, to make this big. Uh, I have some ideas. And he was like, I don't know, he stood out in that he was really trying to, like, see what my vision was. And he was constantly, like, every conversation we ever had was about my show, right? So... That was very complimentary to me, and he did have a lot of money, so somebody that has a lot of money like that, that's so interested in what you're doing. Oh, that's and nice. I felt like, yeah, I felt like all his attention was on me, but I, I knew it wasn't, I, I knew it wasn't, but he, uh, it seemed at the time like it was. It just, there was a lot of signs that, there was a lot, I was, there was so many bad signs about this person, but I got very attached to him because... The, helping with the show. The one video where you, when you find out about this other woman, you get you're very upset because he treated you like an investment. But it sounds like you knew that that was part of the deal. So he never, I never like signed anything with him that he was an investor. Um, it wasn't like that. During my streams, you could donate songs, and so most people, you know, send in a three dollar donation or a five dollar mm -hmm. donation. But he would, he would send in like seventy five thousand at a time. <laughs> <laughs> but Elisa, don't you think yeah. that's don't you think that's sick in a way? Like, uh oh, what if he thinks he owns me? Because he acted like he owned that's you. Really and it. when he says stuff like, you know, I have uh, fifteen zeros or whatever, and I mean, Remember when someone is. says, if someone ever said anything like that to me, I would never want to speak to them again. So it was a combination of things. There's a very horrible parts to him for sure. He's like arrogant. And a liar, which is the worst. But um, oh, arrogant in spades for sure. Yeah, I mean, he, he's like a, he's like the, he's like Satan. But the th the thing is, is at the time I was having fun. I had a really good cast at that time when he came into the picture, and we were just like you know doing the eye roll, and it was flowing very well. But it took a big toll on me after we met. Like when we met, it went downhill. So fast, um, I was in the hospital because I was so distressed from our meeting. I don't know if you guys saw that video when we first met. It's like on the top of my YouTube page, and it's uh, is it when, when I went to his apartment. Is it when he changes from the black suit to the white T-shirt? Yes. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I saw that, and, yeah. and I thought he was a complete asshole, and I would have thought you would have gone to the airport almost immediately. He was impossible. And, and not so, only that, Elisa, I don't believe you're attracted to him in any way. I mean, honestly, could you have ever slept with that guy? So, it, it was, so first of all, he sent me a bunch of pictures that looked nothing like him. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> well, then I, I would have gotten on the plane him. right back right away. <laughs> yeah, so he, he sent me a bunch of pictures that, listen, I do this too, like <laughs> my Twitter you know, my Twitter picture is like five years old. So, yeah, you know, but I, I know people do this, but his pictures are so different <coughs> than what he looks like. So I was attracted somewhat to the pictures that he sent. He's a young guy, he's 41. How ugly can you be at 41, right? Mm -hmm. Don't you think that? It's not like he's like 70 years old. He's, he's just like a guy that's 40. So I, I was attracted to him until he sent, we FaceTimed this one time and he was really bad. 
we I, we FaceTimed during my live stream one time, and his face was like all blown up. You know, he has uh, multiple sclerosis. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if you guys know. Yeah, no, I understand that. So, uh, so, so I felt bad for him, but like the main thing was he was so focused on me. He's giving me a, a, an extreme amount of money. He's so focused on me. He's watching my stream every day. At that point, I'm streaming every day. He's a part of it every second, calling well, in. That sounds He's, obsessive, thought, though. That's so, that sounds totally yeah. obsessive. And the money, I, the money would make me nervous. If anybody's giving me that kind of money, I, I realize some people say, "Oh, what are you, an idiot?" But I would feel like, "What is this? Does this person are they trying to?" And especially the way he treats you, I would feel like this guy thinks he owns me or something it's not his money either it's his dad's money he's just such an yeah, entitled see, prick absolutely absolutely you nailed that that's why it's so easy to give away and i work really hard for my money before him i was working 12 hours a day uh for three dollar donations so you can imagine how hard that is um so typically i would get like people would te uh, send me three dollars every time they sent like a text to speech message so you know when he came in I went from, you know, streaming 12 hours a day to stream, streaming six hours a day. He made my life a lot easier. Um, and I don't know. I, it was just I felt very taken care of. He would send Amazon packages to me every day, like a blanket, a bug zapper, shampoo, like pills but for things like that. he's got nothing else vitamins. to do. He doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's very obsessed with, like, webcam girls. Uh, not, uh. I'm not really a webcam girl, but other other ones. And so all day what I think he does is he just, like, you know, sends money to people, women, basically women, like, cam girls, but also me. And I thought there's no way this guy's sending money to other people because how, how does he have any money left? But he did, he, did, he had a lot of money. I, I'm pretty sure his dad cut him off, though. So he, he oh, because uh, uh, there's a, uh, some people are saying on the Internet that you gave the money back. Is that true? No, no, I didn't give the money back. <laughs> I was just kidding. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> did, he, no. did, he, did he ever proposition sex or try to do anything? Did he ever put a move on you? Uh, uh, no. Um, he talked very sexually to me, but when we met, like, no, not really. It's weird. Like, hmm. no, I don't even think he was, like, attracted to me because, like, when we were in person— um, like I didn't feel attractive around him at all. You, you know, well, like he's when you're calling you a dumbass and he's he's acting yeah. like you're a complete like, idiot. I, I, well, I would like understand why you're not attracted to him, but I would think. I mean, come on, you're beautiful. I would think. No, 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 like, so there's certain people that'll bring out your like sexual side or your fun side. When I was around him, I just felt like shit. I felt so bad about myself that I think the cumulatively that's what brought this to happen because you know, I spent enough time with him in LA that went horrible then he came here that went horrible obviously and it just he would always like throw these other women in my face show me pictures they're sending of him you know younger women that are, well, are cam girls how could you living. stand that how could what? you spend five minutes with him I, I mean honestly I, I just see the picture I, of you I in the car that. with him and I just go wait how could Lisa be with that douche that's impossible and, and, and why would you get so upset about the, the Sarah aspect then if you knew about other girls? And I'll tell you why. Because he the things, the things that I saw him type to her are the exact sentences, the exact that he said to me. So when he was saying those things to me, I felt, um, you know, no matter what he is, I felt like good. Like, you know, he would like compliment me and say, you know, you're my dream girl. He used those same exact words he used on me with her. So that's the, that was the problem is that I was so hurt by that. And I was just hurt by like a lot of things and it just built up so much. And when I found out that I was right, I knew he was cheating on me with like several people, but I never saw it written out like that. Mm. And when, when I saw it written out like that, it was just like so painful. Like my heart like did not recover from that. So I'm still like a mess and it's very hard to deal with right now because uh, you know, I'm getting a lot of attention for this, which is interesting in a couple ways. Like, I know this is a very embarrassing thing, it's a very bad thing, but I feel like I'm supposed to have some kind of growth uh, from it because there's no way I would have walked away from this guy unless something like this happened. Well, you, you got to um, strike while the iron's hot, so I assume you're. How do I strike? How do I strike? I don't know how to strike. What am I supposed to do? You tell me. Um, why don't I have a uh, contest to see who the next person you date is? <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, some guys, like, you know, they're reaching, and people think I'm a dominatrix now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but well, I really am not. I, I would love to have, like, an incredible guy. Um, I don't know. Uh, well, I, can, I don't know. I, I, I swear, honestly, I. Well, you took a hell of a mug shot, though. So that's a really that was, good, that was yeah, a pretty nice shot. Maybe, maybe yeah, sell some merch with that, like Trump or, you know. Yeah. I look fat in like the body cam what? videos. So, like, you know, I look really fat. I, it was a really bad angle. No, it wasn't. That no, was, it was like, fine. No. For a mug shot, it was very good. Yeah. Um, no, the hey, mug shot I liked. I yeah. wish I could pull out that mug shot <laughs> there more. See, there you go. Sell it. No, um, how, how badly were you hurt? So, he, so what people didn't see is, like, when he was pulling my head down, he was, like, strangling me. So nobody, like, they could just see the top of my head. They couldn't see what was happening at the bottom. He's putting his hand over my mouth. They couldn't breathe. I thought 100% I'd be dead that day. I thought when he was doing that, this guy is going to kill me, and it's going to be on my stream, and that's how I'm going to go. And, my, you know, my parents are going to be watching this. Everybody's going to watch me die. That's what was happening in my head. Some of your chatters and, were uh, predicting that. They said what to keep the stream on. Some of your chatters were predicting that. They were saying, keep the stream on. We're scared for you. Yeah, it was it was super scary and uh, very traumatizing. I mean, even even not even this, this situation, when I saw him in L.A., I swear, it was, like, just as traumatizing because I thought he was going to mm. throw me from the balcony because he was so mad at me that time. Um, so that's why, that's why I, I can't so, understand why you were so upset. I can't, I can't fathom yeah, why you'd be so upset. Because he was good for business. He's like, but he's that's like one of those love bombers that? that like, <laughs> what? I, I don't know. I, well, Mark said because he's good for business. And I said, but that seemed like something you cry over. I mean, you seem like somebody crying over losing somebody. She was I, mad. I was hurt. I was, a, I was attached to him. It's like, it's like an addiction, like how people are addicted to like okay. drugs. All right. All right. Let like me, let me ask you this. Like when, when you and Benji split up, did you cry a lot? <laughs> I cried at the airport when I left Benji. Yes. Okay. But not as much as this. I don't even want to compare Benji to this guy because Benji is a phenomenal person. Andy is a phenomenal person. I would never compare them to this person ever. This person is like, the worst person I ever met in my life. Like Andy and Benji, I, you know, I'm, I'm broken up with them, but they're really incredible people. Both of, both of them have been there for me. Benji's number, I, you know, you can call people from jail that you remember their number. You can't look at your phone. So I knew my, my mom's number and I knew Benji's number. I called Benji first. Think about that. That's, that's, that's who Benji is in my life. I called Benji first and Benji called, you know, everybody that I needed to call. Um, did Benji so, ask you, know, you? And then Andy. Did Benji what? ask you why you cried more about this douche than about Benji? <laughs> no, ben, Benji uh, knew about this guy, and everybody warned me. Benji, I thought Benji was jealous, but you know, <laughs> it's like, oh, Benji's jealous of this guy, but it wasn't that. He was, he was being real. Everybody on earth did not want me with this person. I, it, this is all me. I take full responsibility for this. I shouldn't have been with him for one second. I fucked up. This is very bad, and I, you know, I need help. I need to get help for this because it, I, I was going to a regular therapist. She sucked. We were in therapy the day um, that this happened, and therapy really infuriated me. The, the therapist, him, the whole situation. Wait, if the therapist said anything but lose this douche immediately, yeah. I would yeah. say they're a horrible therapist. Yeah. yeah. It's my fault. I found the cheapest therapist in the. <laughs> <laughs> With all that money, well, now what does your what did your mom say about this? Nobody's happy with me and in the world. Nobody's happy with me. Everybody hates me. And it's uh, just, it's surreal. I mean, I felt hated before many times, but this is more. This is more than usual. Um, I, I, talk, I talk to Andy about this because Andy goes through things like this a lot. Yeah, he does. And he has, he has such a beautiful attitude towards everything. He's a very simple guy. Uh, he just wants to have, like, a good meal and watch something on TV. He, he doesn't care. Like, I feel things very deeply. I, You know, I'm extremely affected by this. I'm still, like, heartbroken. I know you guys don't believe it. But, oh, I don't, understand, you know, I don't understand that. Yeah, I mean, the cheating and the lying um, is really rough. It's but it, really, really rough. Yeah. But, Lisa, if a complete scumbag douche uh, lies to me, I don't care because they're a scumbag douche. 
That's what I, you know, well, I it I is what you. it is. I wish I was you. <laughs> I wish I was you because for whatever reason, <laughs> I, for whatever reason, I'm very hurt by yeah. okay. uh, I, putting my time, putting a lot of time, a lot of energy into someone, talking to them for hours, day and night, uh, you know, including them in my show, which I look at as like my baby, like, the, you know, my IRL live stream. I worked so hard on it. Um, and he was a big part of it. I wrote him songs. I... I, I just, I don't know. It was, it was, um, yeah, it was something I mean, that everybody warned me about. It was yeah. something everybody warned me about, and I didn't listen to. And now I, I need to make big changes in my life. Obviously, I, I can't even stream right now because I'm so depressed. Um, it takes well, a lot it, for me to be motivated. It'll pass. To this, this will. I mean, you're <laughs> already, you're already uh, days past this, Elisa. This is going to pass. I, I think. I don't know if you want to stream. I, I'd probably, I would, I'd start streaming pretty quick, Why honestly, if, if you could. But if you can't, you can't. I just can't emotionally. Like, I can physically. I just can't emotionally because I'm just so, I don't know. I This, like, fucked me up so bad. Let's try, really let's try and put it in a different perspective. How, how long uh, did this go on? Was it six months? Yeah, like six months, okay. but every day, like it was like a twenty-four-seven. Sure. Very intense. Everything. And how much? Uh, yeah, how much money did he end up giving you for those six months? Approximately a million dollars. Million dollars. Millions. Millions. Millions? Yeah. Wait, did you say millions? I mean, it, so there's a percentage that they take out. Sure. It, it, like From the, the, the way live streaming works. Um, oh my God! He could have given you. Like, yeah, so he probably did like over a million, but like they take some out. He okay. could have given it to you directly. Oh my well, God. I mean, a million for six months, and yeah, no, that's a pretty good you know, deal. It ends, and yeah, but you would think. So you would think. I would think if I heard about somebody else and I said, "Oh, that person made a million dollars," right? I'd be like, "Oh wow, that they must not be upset at all. They must be so happy." I am not happy at all right now. Sure. Okay. That 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 money did nothing for my happiness. Zero. But, Zero. but does that have to do so, with because of the attention the public put on it and then you getting arrested, or is it just the way he treated it? Uh, just the hurt. Okay. The hurt, the way I was treated, the way I was arrested, he wasn't. Uh, the public perception of me versus him, like he's some angel. Uh, that's nobody, really tough. No, like, Elisa, no, nobody thinks nobody, he's an angel. No one likes him. Read the right comments. Now. No, oh, com the comments are bullshit. Uh, first of all, me. I read a lot of comments. No one thinks he's anything but the biggest douche in the world, and no one can I didn't even. I read those. No one I can. I did not read those comments. I read a lot of those comments, and no one can fathom what is she doing with that guy. She can do so no. much better. The comments that I see are like painting me as like a violent criminal, and him as like some like. Uh, mm. Disabled guy, <laughs> you know, like mm. I. Look, oh well, when yeah, it comes to hitting how, him, when you were hitting him, yeah, nobody likes that, obviously, because you know yeah. you're driving your car and you're you're hit, popping this guy in the nose. Well, the cop cam video didn't help. You. And the, the yeah, the the cop had already warned you about being physical, and you know it's all on the stream. And then in the end, he comes after you, and a lot of people felt like, well, this, she just drove him crazy, and so he just snapped and. But if that's you know the whole st if you know the whole story, he was always a dick. He was always an asshole. I, I, honestly, I think. 99% of people would, would just find him to be deplorable, absolutely deplorable. No one likes him. I, I don't see comments about that, but what I'm hoping will happen is that it will come out. I have so many YouTube videos that are on my YouTube channel that explain exactly who he is. So if people just took the time to watch those. I put them on yeah. favorites. I think people click on them, and they could see what kind of guy he is because I feel like he just looks so innocent and quiet. But, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I shouldn't care what people think, but it, it is very hurtful that I feel that I, I didn't get any justice for how he treated me. Well, um, but, you know, when he said, if you do that again, I'll deck you, were you, you pulled his ear, I think? Is that what made him snap? Yeah. Yeah. What were you thinking when you did that? Were you thinking he's not really going to deck me? Or were you just so mad in that moment that you just had to do it? Um, Sarah was on the I phone. I don't think I heard him. I don't think I heard him say that. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think I remember okay, that, that. Actually, that just made me think of another question. You were so mad at Sarah, and I was like, "But he's the one to be mad at. Why are you mad at? Why were you mad, so mad at her?" I she shouldn't started. have been mad. I, I should not have been mad at her. I shouldn't have even called her. I don't know why I did that. But you wanted I to put her like, nudes up, and you wanted to dox her. And well, she started trolling too after that. So 
you know, it just exploded. Yeah, I didn't do I didn't do anything. I took my video down. It's not that. It's not just her. He's got like twenty of those. He's got mm. twenty. You know, he's got maybe fifty of those. He's just on. You know, he's home all day on the internet buying women. That's what he does. So. I shouldn't have called her. That was stupid. So what, his well, dad, uh, I mean, is that part of it? Because now you realize, like, oh, I'm just another one of these women that he's... Yeah, the- yeah. It makes me feel bad because I thought, and I think, and I still stand by it, that I have a great show. And I don't think these other women that he's paying possibly millions <laughs> of dollars to have a great show. Because I know the other women that he has, what they're like. So it's just he's putting me in the same category as somebody that, you know, sending ass shots of themselves. Yeah. Like, he's I don't a, put myself in that category. He's yeah. brain dead. He's an idiot. Who cares <laughs> what he thinks? I mean, seriously, the sooner you realize that, I yeah. think the sooner you'll be better. Yeah. He, it doesn't matter what he thinks. Okay. He's a zero. I mean, you're right. Yeah, I was just going to say, you're right. He is a zero. <laughs> yeah, you I said mean, it yourself. And now that his dad has cut him off, he's a bigger zero. He's He has no power yeah. whatsoever. He has no say over anything until he yeah. ball washes his dad into giving him more money. Oh, gross. Sorry. Well, what I have to do, what I what I figured out is I just need to, the only way for me to move on to the, from this is to just really, like, either work on my stream or something creative where I am using my brain and, you know, just so I can get my confidence back. Because my confidence is completely shot right now. Um, do a good stream. Well, I was going to say, the way to get that back is by hopping on. Why don't you get Andy to do a stream with you? Because Andy's, you yeah. and Andy have chemistry. Andy's funny. People people are dying to see yeah. what the next thing is, so you might as well give it to him. I know. I just, I don't want to do just anything. I want it to be, like, a brilliant stream because I know a lot of people are going to be watching. So, yeah, I'm just really thinking that way. But my, my emotions right now are just not... In the streaming mode, unfortunately, I wish it, I wish they were. Well, it, I, what feel, people... I feel like shit. I feel I don't have an ounce of confidence. Um, I feel gross. I, I think honestly, uh, you should feel more confident now that you've shed this fucking dead weight loser out yeah, of your life. It, yeah. sh- it should only you're only going up from here. And you have his money. <laughs> Yeah, and you got a million bucks. But what if I'm going down though? What if I'm going down? Well, invest that million dollars. What was that? Invest a yeah, million invest, dollars. Invest in some equities. Yeah, but like it feels, I know it sounds like a lot of money, but the the way I felt before, like two years ago when I started doing IRL, I was, I felt so rich back then. I remember my first day that I did streaming, I made $148. Mm-hmm. It was the best day of my life because I was like, I cannot believe that people are paying me $3 a minute to do whatever I want. And, like, perform. It was the best. I was so happy. Well, they'll pay so you, and then, They'll probably pay you five what? times. They'll probably pay ten times that the first day you go back because a yeah. lot of people will be watching. Word will get around. No, no, and- I know. No, no, it's, it's way more now, obviously. But I'm just saying the first day was when I felt the best because I, I couldn't believe that there was something like this where you could be so creative and do everything that I'm good at. And one thing, I could, you know, I could... I could do a monologue. I could be funny. I could sing. I could dance. I could go to events. I could interview people all in one job that I'm the boss. So it was just so awesome. And then I felt like he took my spirit. You know, you know he gave all that money. He said he was like investing. Uh, we were going to get married. We filled out a marriage certificate. And then he really Ugh. broke me. So now I'm associating him with this whole thing. And it's yeah. hard oh, to don't. work. It's you, just hard to back. you probably just need some time. We're, we're going to let you go, Lisa. But um, I, I hope you're streaming soon i hope you don't stay in this mindset because honestly this this will pass the rest the arrest the rest will be the best thing for your stream ever um you know do you have andy's lawyers maybe you should get andy's lawyers on it (laughs) i talked to them they can't practice law in florida i'm in florida right now oh um but i have a lawyer and he put he's gonna put out a really good statement um and you know i'm I'm gonna pursue this because I really want justice. I want justice. I don't want somebody to just ruin my life and get away scot free. I just don't want that. He, he's no. There's no way your life should should be ruined. I know you feel how you feel, and I respect that. But there's no fucking way your life should be ruined because you have more money in the bank to do what you want to do. It gives you more freedom, and you're free of this fucking load. He's a complete load. But I I, I know you have to figure this out for yourself. So I'm not going to expect you to take my word for it. Yeah, but it's true. I, I'm I right. What you're saying. I, I appreciate what you're saying. I pray you're right. I just hope I to am. get like something out of this that's positive. I don't care what. And, um, you know, that's just how I'm thinking about it. 
All right. Well, uh, good luck, Elisa, and we'll be watching for you. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. Thank you, guys. See ya. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Good luck. All right. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Once again, it's good. Good Chicks. looking mug. That's a good mug shot, man. It is a good mug shot. It's a very good mug shot. God, I wish we had cash How cows she... through a seventy thousand. <laughs> I know that'd be nice. <laughs> hey, Brandon, here's a pull barn. How? I... How could she be so upset about this guy? I don't know. He's such a loser. He's so well, awful. I think when you find out you're one of twenty, it does kind of crush your spirit a but little bit. But if it's bit. one of twenty, but th that's the thing though. She fell for this guy. If this guy didn't have money, she would have never fallen for no, him. No, no, I understand that. But you put up with all that bullshit from him, that abuse from him and then you find out that oh there's all the women that all they do is send an ass photo when he gives them money yeah. I, I mean seriously I would feel good I, that I didn't do that that the other girls had well, to work harder I than I did I think she does feel good about that but at the same time it's like oh Jesus why am I putting up with this abuse uh, yeah, she I know, I know. She, I, you, how she feels is how she feels. I, I mean, I, I to think I could talk her out of it is just stupid. I, I'm but. glad she knows that she fucked up. I mean, that whole thing with the with the policewoman. Oh, she oh, yeah. fucked up big time. I didn't want to rub it in her face, but yeah, she really no. fucked up. No. That was too bad. Well, glad she answered the phone. Though. She should stream soon, though. My oh, my God, out. I'd be back on there right now, right? <laughs> Wouldn't yeah. you? I, and I, yeah. I, what comments is she? Re I think she's reading the wrong comments, by the she's way. She's reading comments from people who are saying um, she should have been arrested. She hit him first. Yeah. It's, there's a lot of like gender related stuff where people don't feel sorry for her, I oh, think, for getting okay. arrested. But they, oh. that doesn't mean they like him. Oh, he's a piece of shit.